This is ECU E39. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you using Unicam T with a canvas uh, board, we are able to program this uh, ECU without even open the case We're using the canvas here. So in order to program the device, you need a Unicam T with this uh, jumper wire cable. And also you need a MCP2515 and this board I purchased from the Aliexpress. You can find this on uh, Amazon as well as Aliexpress. And make sure this is eight megahertz clock. And you also need a jumper, uh, jumper here to make sure this is properly terminated. Because once you put the jumper on, this will put 120 ohm resistor uh, between the wires. You also need a wire cross wire here and with one side connect to the uh, canvas here and the other side connect to the uh, NCP board. So here is the setup. I uh, connect the Unicam T um, and here is the uh, the canvas wire I uh, made from the twist wire from an Ethernet cable. Um, jump up here to make it properly terminated. The SPI connections is on this side and the green wire is the clock, the brown is the SI, the orange is the SO, and then the purple is the CS. Now white is ground and black is, uh, is 3.3 volt. Um, even though the data sheet on the board says we need to have 5 volt, uh, I find this 3.3 uh, volt from the Union NT doesn't work. If it does not work for you, you may need to consider apply the 5 volt here, but make sure the ground is connected here. On the ECU here, we need to connect the power, which I uh, use the, the, this clip here, go to the ground, and I have the the two 12 volts connect to here. And then the can high, I'm here using the orange and uh, the, the white orange is the can low. So this is the seventh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On this top row here, this is the connection. Um, and here is how it's connected and we can connect it to the, uh, this is USB hub. I'm facing this up to, uh, to let you see the, uh, the LEDs and how the Union can T works. So let me put a paper in between. Just make sure it's not that short. So the setup is quite simple here. So Union can T, to the MCP board through the canvas, go here and apply the ground here, the, um, the uh, 12 volts go to two pins here. So now I'm going to the software, we can power on and turn on the Union Can T. You will see the L Union Can T uh, blinks. So in the software, you need to select select a CAN here. We have this E39 CAN. If you have an E39A CAN, you need to select that target because they, are, they cannot ch uh, change each other. So I, I select here and then we can click detect. And you will see this debug on. If you do not see the debug on, and don't worry, click on again. And once you see the debug on, you can do uh, read and write. Uh, in here, we need to read the shadow. Uh, shadow is part of the uh, flash of the memory. Uh, it's useful when we get bricked. If the ECU does get bricked, we need to uh, reprogram using the, the boot assistant mode. We need to open the case, but the pa password is important. So we provide the function, allow you to read the shadow. And here is a shadow and the most important part is this password is important. So I'm going to save the shadow here, which is shadow. And then we can read the entire flash. Here I'm going to read it. 
uh, because we are using the CAN bus, the clock here using the 500 kilobit per second, you cannot you know, adjust the clock um, freely as we did for JTAG. You know, the clock has to use this certain clock speed. In this case, this is 500 kilobit. And the read speed is about 32 kilobyte per second because of there's overhead. And um, this wire support you know, quite a long, long and uh, even though it's compared to JTAG, it's very slow, but you do not need to open the case and this connection is quite simple, so it's convenient. And for each new ECU, you probably need to read twice to make sure they, they do match, uh, because once you start erasing, you should not stop in the middle. And if you do stop in the middle, then it's bricked. You have to open it and to do the boot system mode to recover it. I will break it and then you know use the boot assistant mode to fix it in another video. So this read will take about one minute and forty seconds. So you should not try to mess around with the shadow memory. The shadow memory is very crucial. This is the flash we read. And here we have the all the flash and let's save it. So save it as today's. And then we can verify one more time just to make sure two reads do match. Um, for for new, uh, if this is the first time you use this software, uh, I highly suggest you do not erase and program right uh, now until you make sure the backup is correct. Once you have a good backup, don't worry, we can fix it no matter what, even though it's you know erased everything. I do make the shadow to be uh, a RAM, you know, don't allow you to do the erase and program, but if you want to play with it, it's be very careful, you can. You can kill this device easily if you do mess up, uh, mess up with the shadow. Uh, since I did several times already, so don't try it. Even though I consider this is very slow, but to others, they think this could pro probably is a very good uh, solution to program the, this ECU. So in the future, I will support more and more ECU devices in the CAN bus because now we have the CAN bus support and all the CAN bus capable ECUs should be able to reprogram it. So we, we read once, then we compare it Twice, uh, the second read and they, they do match so we know we have a good backup. Now I'm, I'm going to erase everything. So here is the erase button. Uh, this is just, just for demonstration purpose, okay? For you to program the entire flash, you just you can click this, this button and it will do the erase for you as well as the programming. But I'm going to erase this one just to make sure we, we can erase it. So this is erase. And this is totally erased. Now I'm going to check if it's blank. So there's a button here called blank check. So I'm going to blank check it. And this will do a more, one more read, round of read. I'm going to speed this up because it's just another read. Uh, after the finish, I will tell you if, if it's blank or not. So this is blank. You know, we have er erased everything. Now I'm going to put this back. Uh, to 19. I'm going to use this button, okay? Instead of doing the uh, S program, I'm going to use one button here. Uh, it will do an extra erase, don't worry. It take about, you know, uh, 13 seconds to erase. The programming is slightly slower than the reading. The read will take, you know, it's 30 to three kilobytes per second. 
and the program is about 28 to 29 kilobytes per second. Uh, monitor the, the LED here. You see when we do program, it's, the LED is blinking really fast and it's knowing there's activity going on. If you see the, the LED stop blinking and not, no progress on, going on, that means something get wrong, either you know, connection or what, or power. I find this power is very sensitive though. So yeah, try on, on your own, but the setup works for me. Hope this works for you as well. By the way, E39A works exactly the same. I have break the E39A, but if you have the E39A, just select the target of E39A, and then the program is almost identical. Okay, program passed. It takes slightly longer. You know, one read is one minute and 34 seconds. The program is one minute and 47 seconds. So let's do a verification. So a button click and you will see the LED start blinking. So we are pulling the memory, uh, pulling the memory from the flash to through the canvas to our PC. So program, we compare the flash. Uh, this is exactly what we put it in, compare pass. So this ECU has been read and erased and reprogrammed. So uh, from 1.53, Unique NT is now capable of starting programming the ECUs with the, uh, the canvas. And in the future, we will add more and more ECUs.